This is the Nepal. So the pilot for the today's flight is Nepal, that is me, and I'll take you to the one of the neighboring countries of India, that is Nepal. So, do you know the capital of Nepal? Anyone? Kathmandu. Yeah, that's great. Okay. So first, talking about the location. So here you can see the map of the Nepal. And can you tell me the neighboring countries of Nepal? Like India, 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 China, China, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Sikkim, Bhutan. Uh, well, Uttar Pradesh is not a country. Bihar. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I asked about the country. That's okay. Okay, so talking about the Nepal. So it is located in the Asian continent and it lies along the southern slope of the Himalayan mountain ranges. Okay, so do you know about the Himalayan mountain ranges? No. So do you know the world's highest mountain, which is the world's highest mountain? Anyone? That's Mount the, Everest. Mount Everest, yeah. Mount so, Everest. Yes. And the correct, uh, highest part that uh, I have my pet dog, his name is also Everest. You know? Okay. Okay, so Nepal is basically a landlocked country because it is surrounded by India to the east, as you can see here in the map. Here it lies, India lies to the east of the Nepal. And <laughs> to the south and the west, there is Tibet to the north. So the territory of Nepal extends roughly around 500 miles from the east to west and 90 to 150 miles from south to north. Okay. Okay. So as here you can see, so seventy-five percent of the Nepal is covered by the mountains, the Himalayan ranges, which I just talked about. So here in this map, you can see the different regions of Nepal. Like it has the right and inner, then hilly region, then the mountain region. So the area covered as the gray, it is representing the Himalayan range, the mountain region. Then the green is the hilly region. And after that, we have the inner terrain and the terrain. So terrain is basically a low, flat, and fertile land. And uh, it is, uh, which is adjacent to the border of India, as in the previous picture. Here you can see the border of Nepal and India. So it is adjacent to the border of India, the terrain is food. And the Great Himalayan range, it rises to more than 29,000 feet. Okay, so now coming up to the national flag. So the Nepal flag is the only flag in the world which is non quadrilateral Like so far you have seen how the map, uh, flags do not rectangular movement, right? The flag of Nepal is the only flag, and, uh, it is the unique one you can say. So it is based on two different pennants which belong to the rival branches of the Rana dynasty. So here you can see the moon on the map. So the symbolizes the Nepalis are very calm. And the sun, which is just below to that, it symbolizes uh, that uh, the, uh, the sun symbolizes the fearness of the people, of the Nepalese people. And the moon also symbolizes the pleasant weather of the Himalayas. And the sun, it represents the heat and the higher temperature in the lower lying area of the Nepal. Okay, so talking about the capital, so you have already told that the capital is Kathmandu. So it is also the biggest city of the Nepal, which is situated in the bowl shaped well in the center of the Nepal. So Kathmandu lies just in the center of the Nepal. So here the yellow region which is highlighted, this is the Kathmandu and it lies just in the center of the Nepal. Now moving forward, I'm talking about the government. So the government of Nepal is an executive body and the central government of Nepal. So prior to the abolition of the Nepal in 2008, it was officially known as the this majestic government. So right now this uh, government has a president as a prime minister. So the president is Vidyarevi Bhandari. Here you can see her photo. And the prime minister is K.P. Sharma Uli. Now talking about the currency. So the currency of Nepal is Nepalese rupee. Here you can see a few notes. So the value of 
one Indian rupee is 1.6 Nepalese rupee. Here you can see few coins as well. So here you can see the mountains in the coin. So these yeah. are representing the Himalaya ranges of Nepal. And it has a bull and human bull. Yes. Someone pulling a bull also. Yes. So this is representing some of the farming. Okay. So now talking about the languages spoken. So as seen in India, this country it's also Nepali. has many it's languages. Nepali. It's Nepali. Yeah. So the official language of this country is Nepali, and the it is spoken by 44.6% of the population. And other than the Nepali, there are a few more languages that are spoke, widely spoken at this place. So here you can see uh, the, uh, the next is the Nepali language, which is spoken by 11.7% of the population. Then there is Bhojpuri, Dimtharu, Taman, Newar, Magar, Bajka, Urdu, Avadi, Hindu, Guru, and many other languages which are a few uh, unspecified. And as English is the international language, so yes, English is also spoken at this place. And what is the population? Yeah, I'll let you know. So talking about the religion, so this country, this is favored by uh, three major regions that are the Hinduism, Buddhism, and the Islamic. So Hinduism is about like 81.3% of Hinduism and then there are 9.04% of the Buddhism population and then 4.4% of Islamic population. And other than these, there are a few other religions as well, such as Hiratis, Christian, Sikhs, Jains, and some others as well. Okay, so as I told you to search about some of the festivals. So... And the important, uh, the most important oh, is oh, called oh, as Bhai. Uh, come again, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that properly, but uh, they say that it's called as Dashi, D A S H A I N. Yes, yes. So, do you know why this uh, particular festival is celebrated? Okay, that's okay. So, Arika has raised hand. Yes, Arika. Yes, ma'am. I also have one. Sorry, two festivals. One is Fiji and one is Gora Parbu. Okay. Ma'am, you know the funniest part about that? Uh, the festival, it also, uh, uh, Nepal also celebrates uh, it's a holy. It celebrates holy. Okay, so there are many common festivals of India and Nepal. Um, what is the offer? What do we for what do they celebrate? Kukur ki haar, something. <laughs> for what do they celebrate the festival called Kukur Pihar? Kukur Pihar, something. Okay, so I'll let you know. Pihar so, or so the uh, one is Krishna Puja. So we do celebrate the same festival in India, right? So festival yeah, Janmashtami, the celebration of the birth of Lord Krishna. Yeah. And then uh, coming up to the next, the one which Rohita told us, the the Shan and Pihar. So this festival is basically celebrated uh, it's celebrated due to the, like the victory of all of the gold, uh, gods over the evils. So uh, this festival remembers a story from the Ramayana, which is as in Nepali people believe that when Lord Ram slaughtered Ravan, who was uh, the king of the demons after the goddess goes to Durga, they slated this uh, demon Mahisasur. So there are like so many stories in our ancient culture which represents the victory of all of the gods of the demons. So that is why this particular festival is celebrated. 
Okay. So as I told that, uh, like Buddhism is one of the most uh, like famous, uh, like most spreading religion in Nepal. So they uh, celebrate Buddha Jayanti. And other than these, there are so uh, many festivals of Nepal. Do they celebrate Diwali? Okay. So have you searched about that? This is what I asked. You, that, that is your homework. So coming up to the traditional dance form, so they have like three different uh, dance forms that are traditional. They have like one is the Ghatu Nritya, and then there is Lakya dance, and then there is Maruli. So these are three different traditional dance forms of Nepal. Okay, so now coming up to the national uh, animals. So the national animal is cow. And then coming to the national bird. So can you recognize this? This is a pig. No, no, no. It's not. A, it's like a peacock. Yes, it, it is like a peacock, but it is Himalayan Luna. And, and why do they have oh, a no, cow as a national animal? animal. Uh, they can't think of anything proper. Uh, come again, a bee. I'm saying they, I guess they named the cow as the national animal because they couldn't think of anything proper. It's a very possible reason. And coming up to Mom, the national... there's a name also, Monal. Monal is also a name. Yes. So, coming up with the national flower, so it is Rhododendron. This is the scientific name. So these are uh, national symbols, the uh, animal, bird, and the flag. Okay, so coming up to the favorite part, the cuisine. So, and uh, the dalbat is uh, the, like, the famous food there, like, dalbat. And, uh, have you and what was the uh, uh, national animal? Himalayan something it was. Uh, national bird, it's Himalayan Munal. Here you can see. Munal? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so have you heard about the fish momos? Yeah. So this is like yeah, I when, I was was yeah, when yeah. I used to stay in Karnataka, I ate a man. I ate, like, that's my favorite. Okay. So, like, Why this particular favorite? dish has become, uh, like, favorites of Indians as well. This dish One of the favorites of mine. One oh, of my favorites. Okay, okay. That's great. So, coming up with some of the national records. So, Nepal holds many of the world records. So, the one we discussed in earlier as well. Do you remember? We discussed about Mount Everest, which is the world's highest peak. So it is about 8,848 oh. meters. Is that in Nepal? Yes. It yeah. Is Nepal. I mean, it yeah. even does look huge. Yes. It looks also huge and it is also huge. And it and is in Nepal. Imagine how much time it will take to climb up the, oh, the whole of the top of this thing. And it takes one whole day, not even one whole day. Yeah, it but I will can take it. a few months. So that really depends on the weather conditions and the. But I'm going to climb that mountain. Okay. So coming up to the next. Japan holds record for the deepest what? lake in the world. So this is Shale, uh, Shale Fox Sundo Lake, which is the world's deepest lake. And it is around 145 meters deep. Oh my God. So it holds record for being the, uh, having the highest, like world's highest peak and world's deepest lake. Isn't it interesting? Actually interesting. Yes. So... And the third one is that it also holds record for the highest valley on the earth. So this is Arun Valley, which is the highest valley, and you can see here. 
I mean, this also See, looks oh, that huge. That is like so different, like very like that. Uh, this does the... not look like a mountain, not even an ordinary one. Yeah. I mean, it looks exactly the same size of Mount Everest. Yeah. Almost in picture, like it could be, but uh, in reality, it's quite different. Ma'am, uh, then where are all those houses? Like they say that they have they live near valleys so actually uh, like in the himalayan ranges there is no houses so i'll show you that uh, you can check up in the like the kathmandu which i showed you the place so what is the population the so, yeah uh, so the population of this country is around 29.6 million 29.6 so, million yeah that's I think, too low or like is it in crores it could be like a uh, two point nine crores. Okay, so coming up to the national airlines. So Nepal Airlines is the flag carrier, and here you can see the logo as well. And other than the Nepal Airlines, this country has two major other airlines. So one is Buddha Air. The second is Himalaya Airlines. So that was all about that today's tour to the Nepal. Oh, so ma'am, is there any video or something? Okay, I'll show you the video. So by the time. Present. Okay. So Rohita, do you want to present? Uh, okay, ma'am. I'm gonna open it. So meanwhile, uh, anyone wants to share any of the facts about Nepal? I do. Mom, can okay. I share? Oh. Okay, let me uh, make a sip of this. Me and too, then, I also. Uh, Mom, I made it bit small. Why? Because today is only about uh, Nepal. That is really okay. I was telling you, I was also having facts. Okay, so first we will listen to Abid and then uh, uh, after the presentation, okay? So, Romita, you can proceed with the presentation. Mexico. About Mexico's lifestyle. Mexico is all about sunshine, rich culture, historical heritage, a slower pace of life, and lower living costs. Mexico has been an expat magnet for decades. Mexico's lifestyle combination appeals to the 1 million expats living in the country. Today, including the largest group of American expats in any country in the world. Facts. 69 different languages are spoken in Mexico. Mexico's real name is United Mexican States. Mexico is the 11th most populous country in the world. Mexico is best for its food and drink culture. Mexico is famous for its incredible food, powdery white sand beaches, chocolate, and to name few more. Mexico has the 11th to 13th economy in the world. Mexico's favorite and most popular sport is saucer. Thank you. Thank you, Rovita. It was a very wonderful presentation. Okay, so Abhi, would you like to continue with the facts? Yeah. I had a fact. Yes, please share. Actually, the actually, you know that uh, Nepal has some exotic life, like um. Things like tigers, deer, elephants, and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So, is that all from your side? Yeah, I just wanted to tell about that amazing wildlife that they have. Okay, thank you so much. So, next we have Arman. He can share the facts. Yes, ma'am. I think that in the currency, Nepalese rupees on 100 pesa. Second one is that uh, uh, 
Uh, the largest city is also Kathmandu, and uh, it holds up to seven million of the population. All right. These were my two facts. Okay, thank you. So now I have a beautiful video. So I'll request uh, all my uh, guests uh, to mute their mics. Mom, can I tell one fact? Yeah, please. Mom, uh, like Nepal is also home for endangered animals. You, are you serious? I am. All right, so... That means they take care of animals. They don't kill them and hunt them and all. Yes. And they also said that Nepal is so special. Why? Okay, so can I present my uh, can I present the video? Yep. Yes, okay. mom. Like that nature. Me too. Like this place has very beautiful destinations. Yeah. When I didn't ex I mean I did not expect such a big deer species to exist in the world that I just saw in that video. Me okay. too. I actually thought it would be bad than India, or now it's more good than India. Much All better. Right. <laughs> so, where are we visiting tomorrow? We are visiting New Zealand. Anytime? What? New Zealand. Can't hear you. It's New, New Zealand. Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. So I have a task for you all. You have to search about what? beautiful destinations to visit in New Zealand. Oh, okay. The task or something? Yes, you have to search about the beautiful destinations, the places you can visit in that particular country. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Got it, got it. All right. Yes, ma'am. So I hope you all have enjoyed your today's trip to the Nepal. So we'll visit. New Zealand tomorrow. So meet you tomorrow. Bye, bye, bye everyone. Good day. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Bye, mom.